Ted Nugent from a 2002 album he called that Crave Man and the song Crave. Needed a, a theme or an idea or something like that to compare with what other people have been doing out on YouTube with their Wranglers like the Blue Beast, uh, Venture Dex, we got Blackout, we got Overclocked. And uh, so I decided to go to this because uh, the lyrics of the song kind of inspire me to uh, the Jeep and other things. So I'm going to show you what I've got on my Jeep since the last time I, I did this and uh, a little bit about what was involved doing some of the things I did. Front end here for my headlights and also a set of aux beam uh, turn signals. And the grill is uh, from Mopar Online Parts. It wasn't factory. I went with the Mad Black grill. On the hood, you can see that there's a, uh, I've got these snubbers on there and a, and a new loop. That's from uh, Carolina Metal Masters, uh, custom work done by them. And the uh, winch is a 9,500 pound rough country winch and uh, standard D-rings from Quadratech. Okay, going down the side of the rig, um, the uh, decal work was done by uh, a local guy called Inside Out, who happens to live right over the hill from my plan. He did the Crave Man uh, decal and he also did the uh, Petroglyph decal. This makes the Jeep stand out and be a little different than what everybody else uh, has out there. You see me coming down the road, you know who it is. Uh, two inch lift kit is Rough Country Coils with Fox Racing Shocks. I highly recommend the Fox Racing Shocks. They give you a great ride going down the highway. Also, uh, the wheels are by Fuel, 17 inch, fake beadlock, but whatever. And uh, the tires are Toyo op Open Country. Again, I have a local tire, tire dealer that talked me out of a set of BF Goodrich. Uh, these tires are 33s. I have about 30,000 miles on them. I'm probably going to get another 20 out of them. The side markers are also um, LED. They're Sprite. I think that's the name of the company. And I've also got uh, locking uh, latches on the, uh, the hood, mainly there to reduce the amount of hood flutter when I get going down the PA turnpike. Okay, the decal on the windshield is from uh, the Bantam Heritage Jeep Festival in uh, Butler, PA, which is the birthplace of uh, Bantam Jeep, where the Jeeps all began in 1942. Uh, been doing that for about four years now. We took, uh, the family took three rigs out last year for a trail ride in Moraine State Park and then down to the, uh, to the Jeep Invasion in Butler, which I'm definitely going to be participating in uh, this summer. It's the weekend of June 8th, I believe. Okay, the uh, rock rails with the integrated side steps. Also, I have uh, door inserts. These are Drake Industry door inserts. They're a real simple install. Not much to uh, do in that. The uh, front window is tinted by, of all people, Zbart. Came with a 10-year guarantee and won't turn blue on me. And they did a great job. Okay, these two pieces, the, the cover and the uh, taillight guards, that was done by... Uh, Mopar Online Parts, they're actually Mopar products, and uh, that's a good deal to get anything Mopar. You go to online Mopar Parts and uh, get a, a significant discount as opposed to going to the dealership. Okay, I just showed you my rear lighting setup here. Uh, what I got on the back is a uh, Smitty Built XRC Gen 2 bumper and spare tire carrier. Uh, the tail lights are aux beam, the brake light configuration. You see there's a uh, brake ring behind the spare tire. That's Rugged Ridge and it came from Quadratech. Uh, there's also um, from Precision LED, there's an LED license plate light under there that's considerably brighter than stock. And also my uh, Fire Stick uh, CB antenna integrated right onto the bumper. I used the short one because the technician I used told me that using a taller antenna doesn't gain you a whole lot. I don't have to constantly take it off with a quick connect to go into parking garages or even my own garage. Okay, we'll step into the interior here. These are uh, GPCA uh, grab handles. I've seen these installed by a couple other people out on YouTube. I like them a lot as opposed to paracord. I've also got... Uh, two mag lights, one on each side mounted to my seats. The clips I got from Ace Hardware, mag lights, and LED mag light you can buy just about anywhere. You'll have to excuse the uh, 
condition of the interior, you know, this time of the year, it's not the best time in the world to clean everything up and do everything right. So I'm, I'm a little on the dirty side because we just had a snow event, so it crapped up pretty good. I've also um, got the stock uh, slush mats, and you can see they hold a lot of junk, but they're not perfect by any stretch of the means of the imagination. So I'm thinking about tux mats coming up. So if we go inside, I have got uh, a uh, Ion Speed Pro camera mounted to this little mount that came from, uh, again, Rugged Ridge that mounts right into the tray. It's really nice. Uh, That's for trail riding. I put one in the front and one in the back to do shoot some of my trail videos. Also, I've got a Passport Max for uh, running the turnpike and some of the other highways. I do an awful lot of highway driving. Uh, there's also a Thinkware X500 uh, dash camera, which is on all the time. If you watch one of the videos I called Dang Deer, you'll see how that worked in action. Very handy to have in the car. Also is the uh, Ram X mount up here on a Ram ball. The Ram ball is from Carolina Metal Masters also. Custom job. It bolts right into the A column. I'm thinking about getting a second one of these to put on the other side so I can mount a camera when I'm going down the road or doing some trail riding and shooting in the interior. Oh yeah, the other thing with the GPCA uh, grip, if you go with the, uh, I don't know if they call it the Pro, but it's a, an upscale version of this hand grip, is it comes along with a window breaker. So you just take this pen, punch the window in the event of an emergency, and, and you're out. Uh, the shift knobs are Drake Industries replacement shift knobs. I actually had the stick shift knob break, little chrome ring that comes stock on these, came off. So there's a bunch of videos out here that shows you how to get these off without destroying your shift knobs, which is pretty tough. They're pressed on. But uh, I didn't have the time or patience for that since I already had a broken shift knob. I just took a pair of grips to it and destroyed both of them. And I had these on in probably less than an hour. I've been real happy with this, the form and fit for these the shift knobs, especially the uh, the manual stick shift knob. It's, it's a good great replacement for stock. Okay, CB Standard Fair, a uh, Cobra WX75 which is about what you're going to put in for most of the applications on the Jeep. I got the, the handle from Quadratech, not the handle, the mount from Quadratech that goes behind the grab handle. And uh, that mounts it in place. I've also got an external speaker, which is a must for that radio. I'm not too thrilled by this speaker because it's kind of low on volume. I'm going to look for another speaker solution in the future. And in the back is the GPCA grab handles that mount here on the uh, headrests. Uh, you can see a number of videos where people have done the install. It's really quite simple. Just loop around the headrest and you're in in a couple of minutes. The dome lights are replacements. They're uh, precision LEDs. And uh, they give you a nice bright uh, white light inside the interior of your car. The first set I had, I started running into flicker issues and just failures. But they were outside of warranty. So I took a, sh a shot on, the set, on another set of them. And they've been holding up pretty good so far. Okay, back here is my uh, fire extinguisher. Again, another Quadratech mounting solution. Just loops right around the uh, roll bar. Make sure you get an automotive fire extinguisher from an auto parts store. Don't go to Walmart or Target or any place like that and pick up a household one. Because if you do have to put out an engine fire, you will damage your engine using the wrong chemicals. Okay, that about wraps it up for my uh, walk around. Hope you enjoyed the video. 2018 holds a couple major upgrades to the rig, which I'm going to save uh, for, for video later. Uh, you'll find them very interesting. Probably February time frame will be one for sure, and maybe early, late spring, early summer will be the second one. But I'm not going to divulge what I'm doing just yet. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.